Welcome to Coach on the Couch. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski, and we are Couch on Location today. We've got a pretty nice table here. Oh, yeah, nice big table. Yeah, Marshall <laughs> Senior High School visiting with uh, Marshall Tiger boys baseball coach, John Bauer. Coach, thanks for uh, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks, thanks yeah, for having me, Jason. Yeah, you got it. I say thanks for being here, but you're at school. Oh, That's yeah, where you're supposed to be. Thanks for coming here. <laughs> yeah. But thanks for making time out of your day and all that kind of thing. So first, we'll just we'll introduce or reintroduce our audience to you. Um, and, uh, and, and what you got going on here. So the first thing, um, how many years you've been coaching baseball? And then what keeps you coming back each year? Yeah, I think this is my third year as, as the varsity head coach here. Uh, but I, I was an assistant here for Jerry Littman uh, about, oh, it's probably going back 15, 20 years, something like that, mm -hmm. uh, maybe longer than that. And then I was the head legion coach here from 1995 to 2000, 2001, I believe it was. So yeah, it's it's been a while. I've I've yeah, I've been coaching for a while, and um, probably what keeps me coming back is just the love of the game. I, I I played this game as an amateur until I was 31 or 32. So I have uh, I, I I played with the Marshfield Chaparrales back when we were in the Wisconsin State League. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we were playing all over the Midwest. Uh, and then I played with. Uh, Back when we were in the, there was a Northwoods League that we were in, I think, or not, it wasn't really called the Northwoods League. I don't remember what it was called at the end, but uh, so I played with them all the way through that that whole process. Uh, and, and I played with some other teams, um, uh, the Boston Red Sox, you know, make sure we don't mess that up with right. the, don't confuse that one with the Boston Red Sox. Right, right. That was, I taught for one year in Boston and then I stayed connected with those guys and I just kept playing uh, ball there. Uh, but most of it, uh, I, I like playing with Boston because they would let me hit. Uh, Marshfield, they always had a DH for me. Oh. So, but, but but I was always a, you know I was always a pitcher. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's just uh, and, and my dad played professionally for a number of years, and I, I can remember some of my first memories are being up in the stands and watching games. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just uh, I've, I've always had a I've, I've always had a I've always loved the game. I mean, it's just. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of. It, it's great when it's going well, and then it, it teaches you how to be humble when it's not going so well. That's exactly and, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, good. Well, so through and through baseball guy. That's mm -hmm. what we've got sitting here right now. Yeah. Sounds like it anyway. Yeah. I, yeah. I guess I, I guess so. <laughs> the, you got the. I like physics too, so that's another <laughs> another side of my personality. But, yeah, well, my, my daughter was going to give me some uh, some physics questions to ask you about. Oh, that would have been uh, good. You could have seen. About uh, throwing a uh, baseball and the uh, curve oh, yeah. ball, and uh, we won't get into that, though. She's probably got some stuff that might be able to stump me now. I'd have to, I might have to do a little <laughs> research now, as far as long as she is. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. Well, we'll get into that next okay. time uh, that we see you for sure. So, uh, yeah, and, and uh, Coach Lippman, he was my history teacher when I went to school here. Oh, really? So, okay. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a long time ago, though. That was. Yeah, that was a long time ago. But yeah, Jerry, nice guy. Yes, uh, yeah. And uh, good, good uh, all-around sports guy too. He did all kinds of things when he was here, yeah, football he was... and other stuff too. So, all right, well, let's get into uh, last year a little bit. We'll kind of put a bow on, on 2018. Um, you know, we actually saw you guys play last week, and we'll talk about those games against Merrill. Uh, well, when we saw you last week post game, we talked to Mason Coffer, and he turned out he was our player of the game. Mason reminded me that last year the guys only had four wins. And that already, you know, we're already kind of kind of chugging along this way. So, uh, so last year, you know, the four wins, obviously that that's that didn't probably meet any goals that you had for the season. All those kinds of things. Just kind of reflect on last year and maybe some of the the the, the bright moments or the the fun times from last year. Yeah, we had a nice come behind victory uh, in our tournament, um, and I, I I don't remember the, the I believe it was against Holman. Mm -hmm. um, that was a walk off win. That that was a, that was a pretty exciting time, and. Uh, it, you know, we played. Uh, I think one thing I look at too is just how far we've come. Uh, we had a hard time staying on the field with Chippewa Falls the first my first year. Uh, they just uh, I, it was hard to stay within ten runs of those guys. And then last year uh, we played them pretty close over there in a doubleheader. And then in the postseason we we had them up against the wall, but we just couldn't you know we just couldn't finish the the deal against them in the playoffs. And then we wound up losing by one run. Uh, they, they had a walk-off win against us in the postseason. So when I look at that, I, I think we made a lot of improvement as the year went on last year. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the year, it was just looking like we, we needed to hit a lot better. Uh, our fielding was okay, and we needed to pitch a lot better. And and uh, we just kept, you know, we just kept uh, working at it with you know trying different drills, trying to get our hitting to improve, and uh, and 
We can, we can look at our, our pitching, too. It was just a matter of uh, throwing a lot more strikes. We had, we had uh, you know, a lot of our pitchers did make quite a bit of improvement. We were walking a lot of guys at the beginning of the year. And then by the end of the year, we were, uh, we were around the plate a lot better, you know, a lot, lot less walks, more strikeouts, a little more effective with our stuff. So at the, at the end of the year, you know, I, I really felt when, when we went to play Chippewa Falls that day I, in playoffs, I really thought we were going to beat them. Mm-hmm. And it, it, was, uh, it was kind of a tough loss, you know, for me when we, um, you know, they just, uh, they, they, they had a couple of big hits right at the end of that game to win it. And, but that's how it goes in this game, you know. So we have them coming up in a doubleheader. So it'll be interesting to see how we look against them this year. Yeah, kind of one of those uh, measuring sticks that we look yeah. back. And in a baseball, you can, I mean, there's stats everywhere, right? You can you can outstat yourself just uh, before you even get off the bus and, and yeah. figure things out. But, you know, one of the basics in baseball, scoring runs and then runs allowed. I mean, mm-hmm. it doesn't get any simpler than that. Yeah. Uh, last year, 55 runs. You gave up 88, uh, 88 runs. Um, so that's, you know, that, that's a bad ratio. Right, right. There. right. That's, a, that's a bad bad run rate uh, as far as that's concerned. So, you know, as uh, but you're saying as the season went along, things were things were getting a little better. Talk about maybe a couple of those seniors that, uh, that left the team last year and, and the mark they might have left on the on the program. See, we had uh, Brandon Matalbo was a catcher for us that did a pretty good job, and uh, then we had uh, uh, Austin Polachek. He was uh, he was a pretty good pitcher. He threw the second half of that game, um, you know, against. Uh, Against Chippewa in the playoffs, so mm-hmm. you know, he was he was very effective throwing the ball, and I'm and he's probably he's probably pitching for those uh, for the for the crew at uh, in, in lacrosse at that uh, Western Western Technical College, I believe, right. is where he went. Yep. yep. And uh, those were you know those, those two guys were were key contributors. Yeah, you talked about Austin. Um, Austin came and he played for the Chaparrales uh, during the summer. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, yeah he did. He, yeah, he actually played second base for them. Um, and uh, got himself a player of the game, uh, one of the games we covered last year. So yeah, oh, okay. He, so he played. He was playing yeah. in the field too. Oh, good for yeah. him. Yeah. Then we had Connor Berry too. He was. Uh, That's right. Yeah. He was uh, another player, and I think he's. I believe he's playing football at lacrosse right now, and having, he's yeah, having a pretty good as, time as a there. Freshman, I, I, he he won uh, some sort of uh, acclimate or uh, some sort of an award um, okay. as a freshman offensive lineman. And then Andy, Andy Gato was a uh, was a really good outfielder for us. Uh, he was. Uh, I, I, I lost track where he went, though. I can't remember. He's, he's probably playing a sport, though, because he could really run. Yeah. yeah. He was a really good athlete. Yeah. Good. Well, good. Well, Coach, I put you on the spot there with those oh. names. You did pretty oh, good, though. Yeah, they got, was, uh, you remembered a few more than I did. Oh, yeah. They were, they were good. That was good. Very, very good people. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great people to be around. All right. Well, yeah. as, we, uh, as we now go into uh, 2019, we're, we're a, a couple weeks into it. We had some snow that kind of put a... A little bit of a pause on things, but uh, you and the guys scampered down to Ma- or to uh, w- uh, Wisconsin Dells. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Last week, uh, swept Merrill. Uh, so you got a couple conference wins last year. You had three conference wins all year last year. You're at three already this year um, in conference. Uh, what's kind of been some of those differences and some of those uh, things that's got uh, the arrow pointing up for the Tigers this year? Uh, I think uh, the last three years, and I've looked back historically at what the conference winning teams look like, and, and typically you'll see a high batting average being high twos uh, or 300, and then you'll see you'll see very very effective pitching. Like you, you, the conference winner is either going to have the best pitching staff or one of the best hitting teams. Uh, this year, I think our hitting is looking a lot better. My my first two years, we were a low 200 hitting team. And uh, this year we really put an emphasis on we, we've got to hit it better if we want to be up in there. So we've, we, we uh, I haven't looked at our conference stats lately here. But I, I know we're doing a lot better. You can see with them our, our conference batting average right now is 343. So that's, yeah. uh, that's going to be very helpful for us moving forward. And we need to stay at that level. And, and heck, I, we should even get better than that. Uh, that's, that's it's very important uh, you know, that we, we keep on slugging it in that area. You can see Spash is ahead of us at 359. So we, we've got, you know, we've got to we've got to stay right up there with them. Yeah, and uh, you had I had the stands up here uh, a minute ago. Um, we'll talk about conference here now, just a bit. Um, so Spash got a fairly decent team this year. It looks like yeah. uh, it's it's early yeah. though. Uh, Wisconsin Rapids is going to be in the mix. Uh, they uh, they uh, swept uh, Medford over the weekend, non-conference game. Um, but they've been uh, doing some things. I think Spash and Rapids play here this week. Okay. Um, again, they had a, a doubleheader rained out. They got one game in, got to play the other one. Um, so who, you know, you're in the mix. So you're three and one right now. Uh, kind of give us a, a handicap on the conference where you think you fit with everybody else. 
Well, we've, uh, I guess we, I guess you could say we tied Spash 22 to 22, you know, with our doubleheader with them. Yeah. Uh, you know, really, when you look back at that game, we had, uh, a, we, we pitched a really good game in the second game, and they pitched a really good game in the first game, and that's just, that's, you saw that with the results and the scores. Uh, Rapids, they've got, they've got two good pitchers. Uh, they've also got a, um, you know, what, one of their one of their pitchers, uh, Randall, their left-hander, I think is uh, one. Of, he's got one of the finest arms, I think, in the conference and, and in the area. So uh, they they I think will might you know they might look like they would have the top one or top two pitching staff, I think, in the conference this year. And hopefully we can s sneak in there and maybe uh, maybe have the third best or. Or maybe overtake a couple, maybe either overtake them or, or overtake point if we can uh, really start throwing it a lot better. We, we've got a few guys that just need to get around the play a little bit more. Mm -hmm. you know, we'll get more strikes, and then we, I, I think we can be right in there too. One of the things that helps with that is uh, having good weather to, uh, mm -hmm. to play these yeah, games. Right, yeah. Uh, it looks like uh, things, though, should snow should be in the past, and so we yeah. should be able to focus. Uh, maybe have an occasional uh, rain uh, uh, event here or there, but we, you know, it's, it's really just about getting, seeing pitches, getting pitches delivered, uh, getting runners on base, getting some of those scenarios that you talk about in practice and actually mm -hmm. seeing them live out on the baseball yeah. field. And that's really what... Uh, you know what, what you need to get done, and, and you need to have you know good fields and good weather to get that done too. Yeah, it's hard to believe we've got 11 games in the way this weather's been. Mm -hmm. uh, so I I think uh, yeah I I'm a, I, I'm amazed we got 11 games in. I, I think the guys are uh, you know the guys are doing a great job too with what we have available. You know when we have practices and things like that too. Yeah, a lot of that's staying focused on the on the times that you do get postponed or you, you do have to wait and you make up those mm -hmm. games later. Just staying focused on on your craft while going to school at the same time, and that's a whole other uh, a trick we can talk about. Yeah, this is a busy that. time of year. Yep. Busy, busy time of year for sure. Guys, you're watching Coach on the Couch. We are on location at Marshfield Senior High School visiting with Marshfield Tiger baseball head coach John Bauer. Coach, uh, talk about the seniors now on the team, and again, we had a chance to uh, to go down and broadcast your game on on Tuesday last week. So we got to kind of get refreshed with a couple of those guys. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got our uh, Zaleski Sports on Focus, um, Spring Sports Magazine out, and on locations around town and around Central Wisconsin. We look in here, of course, Ryan Krieger inside. Um, you know, just one of those. Um, I don't want to say I would put put too much of a big head on, on Ryan, but he's one of those those uh, student athletes that, that comes through a, a school and really uh, does some things, and he's he's one of those, but you've got all kinds of other guys on the team. You know, Preston Wagner, I mentioned uh, Mason Coffrin, and some of the other seniors uh, that are on the team uh, this year. What are the expectations you put on your, your group of seniors uh, off the field and on the field? Well, the big thing is just to uh, you know do the right thing. Let, let's work hard in practice. Let's show these younger guys how to work hard. The uh, and, and you know the big thing too is to bring it when we're playing on the field. Uh, they, there's uh, there's a lot that I, you know it's really I hate to say it from a coaching standpoint, but it just seems like things are just kind of out of your hands. You can't swing the bat when the game is going on, and you can't throw the ball, and you can't catch the ball. And you know the big thing is just uh, help each other out on the field, and let's let's take care of business when we get out there. Um, that's that's probably the biggest expectation, and. Uh, and uh, you know, be, being a leader too, I think is important. Where you help the young guys that we have in the program, be a mentor to them. Don't don't be somebody. You know, you'll be somebody that they would look up to and go to for like advice mm -hmm. or, or like help help with questions. Uh, that that's what we want. You know, we, we don't want a situation where oh, the, the younger guys are afraid to go talk to the older guys. We don't. We we never want that here. So that we want, we always wanted where uh, you know the young guys would. You know, see a good example of how to how to act from the older guys. Right, uh, coach. You've been around sports a, a long time. You know, like I do, that oftentimes what a team looks like at the beginning of the season, mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. good teams get better and, and they, yeah. they change and, and they develop. Now you mentioned uh, those young guys. So who are uh, maybe a couple of those guys that people should be on the lookout for to say, man, look at look at that guy. He was, you know, like this at the beginning of the season. Now look at the work he's doing now. Yeah, I, I can. Yeah, you know, I can almost kind of see that. With uh, we had a couple guys play well down south, but we had some guys that were really struggling. And you know, there were some things that we had to work on, like just how their bat track is going through the zone, or how they are. Uh, you know, there's an old saying with hitting: be be short to the ball and long in the zone. And, mm -hmm. and that's uh, we we had some guys that were not quite there yet. So 
Uh, so we've got uh, we've got some guys that are, that are on the rise. We had some guys that really played well down there, like Ryan and uh, Brant. They started off really hot down there, and uh, uh, you know Ben Gus has been consistent. Jacob Earl's been pretty consistent, and uh, Isaiah Byrle has been pretty consistent. You know all the way through, they've they're, they're kind of hovering around that uh, you know the high two three hundred range. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had some uh, Preston Wagner. He's uh, he struggled down south, and then we just worked on a few things, and he came back, and, and he's been on fire lately. And Riley Bouchak, he's been up and down just a little bit, and I, I think we're going to get him going pretty soon, too. And uh, um, Isaac Meverden, too, he's starting to get it going, too. He was he was kind of, he was getting, he was hitting the ball pretty well against Merrill down there. And uh, right. so that, that's good to see because I, I've talked to a lot of alumni, and they, they've always said that we, we had a hard time beating this team because we only had five guys that could hit a ball. And you know, if we can get where we've got nine guys that can hit it, then that's really going to make a that's really going to help us out a lot moving forward here. So, yeah. So yeah, that uh, that's the big thing is let's get let's get everybody hitting and and then we can get after it. Good. All right. Well, sounds like a promising season, Coach. We're really looking forward to it. Uh, live streams will be available at, at different times throughout the year. You can find that that schedule on Focus News and ZaleskiSportsShow.com. Just click Live Sports. Uh, highlights on uh, your favorite Zaleski Sports Facebook uh, channel. Uh, we've got all kinds of things coming for you, coaches. Your home games are played down at Hackman uh, here in Marshfield when the field's ready. Yes, yeah. Uh, I think it'll be soon. It'll, it'll be soon. It'll be soon uh, to yeah. be ready out there. So we're looking forward to that, of course. Uh, go on and, and cheer on these Tigers. Get to the games. Uh, be there in person. Um, you know, always always good to have a big crowd there at the game and, and have all the troops kind of standing and, and ready and, and, and everybody's ready to go. It'll be, yeah, and warm weather. I think, I think the cold weather that we were playing in at the beginning, I think that's behind us, so that's going to be great. That, uh, I'm looking forward to, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking forward to everything going forward here. Good. It's, it's fun to watch us hit the, you know, the way we're playing now, and uh, if we can, we just got a few things we got to, we just got to keep trying to get better. You know, we got to, it's a race to see who's the best at the end, and, that's, right. and that's, that's what we just got to keep working at to try and be that team at the end here, so. Yeah, well, good. Well, Coach, we're, again, uh, uh, thanks for having us here. We're looking forward to the season. Um, anything else, uh, anything we left out? I can't think of anything, so. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, Coach Bauer, I'm Jason Zaleski. You've been watching Coach on the Couch. We'll continue our spring sports series, Coach on the Couch, with more episodes coming up after this one. We'll see you next time.